everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Catch, and I'm back for another hashtag 50 stack challenge four. So this is our fourth challenge in the 50 stack challenges. Um, we did one last week, so if you have not joined in yet but are wanting to, then um, pay attention and I will help you get there. <laughs> All right, so last week I drew two prompts out of my little brown bag. I just use a little brown bag and every week I draw two prompts out of it and then the idea is that you make two pieces of ephemera, um, one for each prompt. So for example, last week we had tag. So I made a, a tag like pocket. So that's tag. This, um, this uh, fourth challenge, the theme is uh, journals, like types of journals. So like a bee journal, a tag journal, a bird journal, a blue journal, a purple journal, you know, that kind of thing. So um, that's kind of what I'm basing it on. However, obviously this tag you could use in any journal that, you know, it goes with that you want to use it with. So it's not like, well, I made a tag, so I have to make a tag journal. That's not what I'm meaning. I'm just saying it's a starting point. So if you are going to make a tag journal, you could start with the tag that you made for this challenge. Okay. All right. So then the next one is bird. So this is what I made. I made, it's just sort of like a um, file folder tabbed card with a bird on it. And so that could be made into a pocket for a journal or be tucked into a pocket for a, a bird journal or again, any journal. It's, it's just a theme, you know, just something to base my prompts off of. So it's not hard and fast. It doesn't mean you have to make a journal for every single one of the prompts. You can use them however you choose. Um, it's just meant to be fun and to build up your ephemera. That's it. That's like the only, the only reason. So we are on three. Number three will be dog. So dog journal. Number three is dog. So you can use any image of a dog on your piece of ephemera. That's literally it. Or if you had a, like a little button that looks like a dog. You know what I'm saying? Just whatever it is that you choose. And then for number four, I did grandma's attic. So that can be anything you want it to mean. So if you were going to make a grandma's attic journal, for example, you might um, choose, I don't know, an old doll or something like that. Whatever you feel your grandma might have in her attic, that type of thing. Um, completely, again, up to you. Doilies, whatever. That can also be considered like a grandma's attic thing. Sorry, I have ink all over me. I have my burns. <laughs> I look a mess. I swear I took a shower today. <laughs> but anyway, so number three is dog and number four is grandma's attic. And I will be right back. Okay, I am back. What I have is um, one of these dictionary page pockets, and I showed you guys these in a past video. Essentially what I did, if you did not see me talk about that, uh, I was making different book page um, pockets, and I just showed this one. But anyway, what this is, is a page out of a large dictionary. Um, and I have cut it down because it was taller than this. But it's the two pages that are connected together. If you uh, clip the stitching in a dictionary, you can just lift out, you know, two pages connected. Um, they, you can see all the little gaps and stuff. So there, it was just very flimsy. So I took a piece of um, this colored tissue paper, just a, you know, neutral tissue paper, put it over the spine so that it wasn't anything super thick, but it just uh, strengthens that. That's all that is. And then if you can imagine the pages open like this, then I just folded those pages over and I glued down here and I glued down this side. That's it. And then, you know, I did punch a little notch so that, you know, a thumb notch. So, you know, this is a pocket in here and I just have a book page. Um, tag in there. So that's what I'm using as my base. You can use whatever you like as your base. You don't have to use the same base that I am using. You can just use a single tag, a journal card, a 
you know, um, guest check, whatever in the world that you want to use as your base, go for it because there's no rules on that either. It's just use the prompt. That's literally it. So our prompt for this number three was dog. So I have this cute little image of this um, girl and her dog. I believe it's a girl. She's wearing a skirt. The short hair kind of throws me off for the time period, but I know that a lot of times they did cut uh, their hair short. So anyways, um, uh, we're going to use that. And then I just have a piece of the wallpaper that I coffee dyed for the, the journal that I'm working on. And I'm going to use that along there. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started. So I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I am having a good day. The sun is shining. That makes me happy. It was very cold this morning, but hey, if the sun shines, I'm happy. Very happy. Oh, I had lots of people say, why didn't you just use the this glue or the um, art glitter glue entirely for your journal cover instead of using the matte gel? I used the matte gel because I could spread it over the entire piece of wallpaper um, because you'll see right here when I do this, maybe, <laughs> it uh, because the tip is so fine on this for a reason, it's for all these little bitty things that we do, but um, it's not great for a whole cover because you're not going to get the kind of coverage that something like that little, um, either a paintbrush or the silicone little spatula type thing gives you. You can get, um, you know, full coverage and that helps prevent air bubbles. Not that you'll never get an air bubble because it still happens, but, um, it's less so than if you are using this, you can see all these spaces. Those could all be potentially air bubbles because sometimes the art glitter glue or this barely art glue, it does squish down. It will squish out when you um, squeegee it and whatever, but it just doesn't squish down a whole lot. It tends to stay in the areas where it is, where the little applicator put it. So um, this works great to stick, but I just didn't feel like that was going to work over the entire large pieces of the journal. And just so that um, you guys know, it did end up sticking after it dried. So I think it was more just an issue of it needed to dry and um, yeah, you just had to keep, keep working it. And I think it also helped having the, um, what do you call that? the gesso over the top. I think that helped a lot. So it, it's just a multitude of things. I think these are stickers, but I don't know. My daughter got them for me for Christmas. They're just fun little tickets, but they feel like stickers, but maybe they are not. Maybe they just kind of have a thick feeling. But anyways, just, just so, um, you know, that did work and I will be showing it again because we're going to work on it tomorrow again. We're going to do the, um, the inside and talk about the closure and the topper. Oh, it is. See, and all those good things. So, um, yeah, we will, we will revisit the cover. I just wanted to let you know it did work. If you want to try something like that, it did end up sticking after all. So I was very pleased about that. I think I'm also going to use this sticker, which is just, ah, I stuck it to my lamp. <laughs> So I didn't have to go search for it again, but then I just ripped the little paper clip off. <sighs> well, what are you going to do? So um, it's just a washi sticker that I got out of that washi sticker book that I have. But um, yeah, so we will come back to the cover again. So don't worry, you'll get to see it all, all done. And it, it actually worked a whole lot better than I thought it was going to. I've never, I've never done anything with wallpaper before. That was the first time. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure there's a multitude of ways I probably should have done it. <laughs> Not so nice figuring those out until you start is, uh, well, what, are you gonna, what can I say? I am, I am only human. I like this because it says 1851 down here. I think this is from the 1700s, this art piece, but... And then I'm going to use that too. 
just, you know, make a little cluster. I want a lot of this to be seen. I like that look of that dictionary page. Oopsie. And this is out of a book that I bought purposefully for this because I always have people say, how can you cut apart a book like that? And it's like, well, that's I bought it specifically to, you know, use in collage or whatever I decided to. So I guess if you buy it for that specific purpose, then it's easier, I think, to do that. I mean, there's books I love and cannot cut up, so I totally get it. But the ones that I specifically buy for that, some of them I still don't end up cutting up. I just can't ever do it. But other ones, it's not information that I'm going to, you know, sit and read a lot. So I just, I don't have that problem. But you can find images other places. So if you feel like you just couldn't do it, then don't. <laughs> it's to each his own. We all do what we like. And we all have different styles, and that's what makes the world go round. What I might end up doing is putting some of that matte gel over the top of this. I'll wait till I'm done. Um, so you guys don't have to watch me do that. But because this is so shiny, so you guys can see it's just glaring a lot. And I sometimes don't really love that. So, But you don't have to do that. It's just a personal preference. As I always say, you do you, boo. All right, I think that's actually pretty good for that. And then on the inside, I was thinking, I have some um, just tea dyed paper that I'm just gonna kind of put like that. So there is some writing space, but I don't wanna cover this entirely up because once again, I really like the look of that. I'd probably prefer not to cover it at all, but, um, you know, it's, the whole point is to have some writing space, so I'll add a little writing space, I guess. But yeah, I hope you guys are all healthy and staying warm or cool or whatever and just having a lovely new year so far. We are having bizarre, just cold weather. I guess it's really not that odd for us um, to not have snow. It's just really weird the years we don't. It does happen, but I mean, we've had, I think, one or one or two, but they've all melted before it got anywhere. So, yeah, weird. I think I did not get glue on that corner like usual. Yeah, last year we had record snow and everything up in the mountains here. And it did snow down here much more. But this year we don't even have snow in the mountains much. There's a little up there, but nothing. Not like last year. It just goes in cycles, I tell you. Just never know. One year to the next. And then, gosh, what was it? I don't even know. Probably six or so years ago, we had what I called Snowmageddon. Because, oh, good golly. I've not seen... Well, I, I did come close to seeing that much snow when I was in college. But, um, yeah, it was insane the amount of snow we got that year. Maybe it was eight years ago. Crazy. Anyway, whenever it was, it was a lot. Take these out. And these are just glue pages that, you know, like I use here to glue on. Then I use them to make ephemera out of or whatever. There's bad words. I apologize. I didn't write the book. I do need what I did not get out was something to cover these with like a little paper or something, but I have these dog pictures that are like from the 1700s, and I thought they go well with that little girl and her puppy. And that way we'd be using the dogs, and then I have some cutout dogs that I might use. But I need something on here, and I didn't even think about that. 
Hold on just a second. Sorry, sorry, I'm just finding some paper we can use. That'll work. This is obviously just some scrapbook paper <laughs> that I had. I'll probably use some other stuff with it. And I'll leave some of that book page because it is pretty cool looking, but I don't want all the all the words showing. I think that one's fine because I think that's a reader's digest. But you never know. Sometimes I don't know. It'll just be talking about death or I don't know, just something. But who 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 wants to read about that? Not I. Depressing. <laughs> it's like I always tell my husband because it seems like so many of the TV shows now. Um are either violent, depressing, <laughs> um, just smut that I can't, I just don't want to deal with, <laughs> or something, and it's like, can we just go back to, like, something kind of funny, or, I don't know, something, anything, anybody, viewer, <laughs> it's supposed to be entertaining, not... Oh my gosh, we are watching this show called Shining Veil. I, I'm not going to recommend because it is, it, it, unless you like real weird, crazy shows, and maybe some of you have already seen it. It has Courtney Cox in it, who I really do like her. Uh, but let's just say this isn't really, I liked the first season a little more. I mean, it's kooky crazy from the get-go, definitely. Like, over the top, what, but, um... Yeah, it just, the second season has gotten weirder and weirder, and I just am like, I think I might, I might be out soon. I just can't. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. But yeah, it's real, real out there. Let me know what you think, if any of you have watched it. I'm thinking probably m most of you have not, but if you got sucked in by the... Uh, I don't even know if it's Amazon or, or uh, not Amazon, Hulu, or I don't even know. My husband finds all this stuff. I just watch whatever's on the television, basically. I really don't watch when I'm by myself, so. Let's see. Paper, paper, paper. I'm just digging in my, my scrap bin for something interesting. I mean, I do watch, like, I'll watch YouTube or something like that, but I really don't watch, um, you know, regular shows that you would normally watch. So, anyway. But very odd. Very, very, very odd. And a little disturbing, to say the least. I mean, I have laughed a little bit, too, just because it's so out there. <laughs> but it makes me laugh. I don't know why that's funny, but it is. Have you ever seen anything so ludicrous that it just makes you laugh? <laughs> that's what this is like. But yes, I do, I do like her. I do like the characters that are that are in it. I think they fit and all of that. But I feel like our world is actually that messed up sometimes and it bothers me. Because I don't understand it. I'm gonna just glue this little piece down here just to cover up that and then I'll trim it. And then we'll put those numbers. And then we'll put a dog. And then, and then, and then, yeah, you know that you are old when you're just completely out of touch with, like, the whole world, I guess. 
<laughs> or just don't understand. I just don't understand. I guess that's what it is more. Don't understand. Yeah, my husband and I always get talking about, can we just have a sitcom that is, you know, just funny and you sit there and laugh? We've watched Big Bang Theory, which we just absolutely love. Which, it's goofy, too, but harmless. And, um, like, I don't know how many times. Probably three times in the last two years or something. Because we just turn it on when we're both doing things. Like, he might be reading and I working on a, a digital or something like that, you know. Because you can just sit there and kind of chuckle at it. But you don't have to be invested in, in it or anything. So... Um, yeah, we do that a lot. But that type of thing where it's just funny, it just makes you laugh, they're silly, whatever. You get to where you really like the characters. I don't know, I just feel like it's hard to get into it now. It's probably just because I'm old, like I said. We were <laughs> kind of watching something on New Year's Eve. My sister was here, and we were doing kind of our Christmas thing with my sister. And um, it was some New Year's Eve special, like Dick Clark, whatever. It was just on. And we're all like, who's that? I don't know. Who's that? You know, we all, like, all of us in the room, even the kids. <laughs> it was like, who's singing? Everybody's like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> And I thought, wow, that's so crazy, because when I was a kid, I always knew, you know, when those type of shows would come on, it was like, oh, yeah, I know who all these people are, I know, yeah, I know the song, I know all of it. And it was just funny that my kids were even like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> yeah. We didn't leave that on long, needless to say, because we were all like, hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Just changed the channel. Uh. But yeah. No old win. Totally can't relate. So yeah, these these book page pockets like this are so easy. Like I said, when I did that book page uh, pocket sort of video, I mean, you could just t sit with a pile of book pages and some glue and scissors and make all variations. You would be amazed if you just sit around and play with them because there's a million ways to fold a book page, that's for sure. Right? I feel like I have... My hair keeps getting in my face. And this will probably get stitched around at some point. I'm not going to worry about it right now. And we'll make another one. So there's one little tag to go in our little doggy pocket. I don't know if I'll ever do a dog journal, but who knows? It could end up in another journal. Like I said, you don't have to be doing that kind of journal. Um, the theme is just to have a theme, you know, kind of make it fun and give me ideas for what prompts to have. So that's all it really is. It doesn't, it's not set in stone or anything or that you have to do it that way. You can use them wherever you like. You could end up in any journal. A dog's pretty easy. You could, you know, just have any, like, some retro type picture with a dog and use it in any sort of retro journal you do. So, there's lots of options with that. I feel like. Did I get that? That's a little bit big. Just a little. There we go. 
trying to think of anything else we've watched lately that has been good. I don't know. Like I said, just some, so many of them are just so strange. We watch For All Mankind. That show's pretty good, although I did like it more in the earlier seasons, but I mean, I like it. It's a good show. It's about uh, kind of an alternate universe of the space race. Um, in the, starts in like the 60s. But yeah, that one's good. I do like that one. I got that nice and crooked. Oh well, it's on there. So yeah, I do. I definitely like that. Just looking at my book pages here. Just do some music. And then, of course, we always love like Blind um, Adventures of Blind Frog Ranch. I think it's Adventures. I don't know. And Skinwalker Ranch. All those kind of shows. I like. Um, Expedition, uh, Explorer, I think it is, with Josh Gates. I don't know. I like any of those kind of adventure They're trying to find something, whatever. Looking at artifacts. Oh, I know, another one we watch is that gold one. Oh, what is it called? It was in my brain for two seconds and then popped right back out again. Oak Island. That's another one. I like any any of that kind of stuff. That one seems a little bit large. I'm going to tear it just a little bit more. Sorry, little puppy dog, if we get your tail. <laughs> kind of a dark picture. You can't really see his tail. Edition unknown. I don't know what it's called, but anyway, it's good. There's a bunch of shows we're waiting for new ones. But like I said, I only watch when when the hubby's home and watching our, you know, we all watch a movie or something together. I will watch YouTube on my own, but let's see. How about I think it's because I can do that and like clean or whatever. You don't have to pay I mean, I pay attention, but you don't have to be, like, totally paying attention to every second. like it needs a stamp or something. I always do that when I use um, stamps. <laughs> I don't know why, but it just needs something else. I think it's because it's the whole, um, that mark. What is it called? <laughs> Cancellation. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's not the same thing, but it gives you that effect. So, ta-da, is what I have to say about that. Oh, Amy. Needs to be backed. Need to back it first before we do that. What 
is some poor, uh, not even measuring, but you know what I mean? I didn't do a very good job there. <laughs> Fine, some place to write at least. Uh, did I get it too long? A little bit, a little bit. Man, I just got all inky real quick today. Take the old inky fingers. Just the way of it. Man, I'm just cruising through the book pages today. Gonna have a whole nother stack. keep thinking I need to do what Rachel does, Rachel at Roxy Creations, if I'm sure you guys know that, but anyway, she's been using the glue stick and then using, you know, like liquid glue and going around the edges, but too lazy to have all that going at the same time. That book page is coming apart, which happens. We got lots of dogs. Can't say I didn't use dogs, that's for sure. I've never had a dog. I wouldn't know what to do. Only ever had cats. Isn't that funny? Uh, we had a dog when I was really little growing up, but my dad felt like the house that we lived in, because we had moved from kind of a more rural area into more of a city type area and he just felt like because we just didn't have a yard with a fence and all that so we, we found somebody who had a ranch that took that dog and then the dog could run which obviously is a much better deal for the dog but then you know obviously because where we lived we just never had a dog um, we did always have cats, but people always think it's crazy that I never had a dog, but I never did. Because I, I was so little, I don't really remember that dog at all. And it was a short amount of time, too, I feel like, that that dog was even around. It could have been mom, for all I know. I was just little. Okay. So there's that piece all done. And then the other piece is Grandma's Attic. So I have, I have really sticky fingers. That's something I have. I have a envelope, an old envelope, and I'm going to cover this just because it's falling apart. So we're gonna put something over that so that hopefully it does not tear horribly. I'm just gonna use some book page. Old book page. I might just cover the whole thing actually and then just trim it. I think I will. Just to make sure it's all covered. I mean, it looks really cool in there, but I really don't want it to just fall apart after you do all this stuff to it. Right? And these were gifted to me by Lorraine. Thank you, Lorraine. Sometimes feel bad taking them apart and all of that, but she told me I could, and I told her that's what I was gonna do with them. So just kind of feel bad at the same time because they were her mom's. I wonder how my daughter's doing. She started a job today. get it straight but it's fine at least it's mostly covered and better off for it hopefully I love all the little scribbles on the back of this I did not do any of these <laughs> somebody was obviously looking for a pen that worked 
Love that. And none of these people live at these addresses or anything anymore either, so I'm not even sure. It's like her mom isn't alive, so there's one thing. But I don't know about any of the others. So this could be in Grandma's Attic, a letter, an old letter, but I have all sorts of things we're going to put with this. To make it even more Grandma's Attic-esque. And again, don't have to do a journal that has anything to do with this. Just wherever it fits. Because I will probably never make a journal for all of these prompts. But if you do make one or two, you'll be like, hey, I got some ephemera for that. Advantage, right? Okay. So then what I'm going to do is put a thumb notch up at the top, I think. That feels like it's going to do something naughty. Don't know, but we're gonna put a little glue right here. Okay, and then I have, I just have a whole pile of junk. I have what could be a picture of grandma, and I am gonna cover that, which is kind of a bummer, but. I think I'm gonna come trying to think I need to close this envelope so I may take this this will just become a pocket in a journal so this will get glued down but we need something on the sides to close it up so we're just going to use this piece of scrap from this is from the gift I got from my daughter for Christmas it's this is the work basket magazine, so um, it's the rest of the page of the image of the lady here. And these aren't the strongest in the world either, but I think it'll be fine just for closing up the envelope. So we're using all sorts of things that could be in Grandma's attic, right? The work basket magazines could have been in Grandma's attic. All the fabric. That's all that junk there. <laughs> all that junk. We probably won't use all that. I was just finding things that I thought would fit. Same thing. Ah, just had a, a hand spaz there. I just wanted to cut that envelope all the way open. You would not have to do that if it was a little bit stronger envelope. I just didn't think it was gonna make it if Oh, I tore the other one, huh? Probably should have torn this. Oh, well, too late now. <laughs> It'll be on the back. Yeah, uh... Just tried to find all sorts of stuff. Oh yeah, and cutting the envelope open. You don't have to cut it open. I just wanted to, to strengthen it. Depends on your envelope. I want it to go this way so the torn edge is on here. Oh, the day. Oh, bummer days. Oh well. Still see, see it mostly. Put it on a little crooked so you can see it. 
Ugh. Oh well, what are you gonna do? I like it because she's got this sewing machine and then I thought I could put this frame, like it's not the same size. So what I think I'm gonna do is use some of the fabric, like it's just leaning, like, you know, it's all just leaning in grandma's attic kind of thing. Rather than it being actual framed picture. It's just all a bunch of stuff. Oh, you know, if I would have not closed it already, I could have stitched around stuff that goes on there. Oh well, too late now. Sorry, of course the garbage truck. I'll just kind of go like that. And then I'm just gonna take these pieces of fabric, however I feel, and just kind of put them on here and there. And I'll just trim it off where it's too big. I'm just gonna use my glue stick because surprisingly this Scotch Create sticks very well to fabric. And I think by the time I add all the stuff and glue it all down, it's gonna be just fine. Could go around the back, but I'm afraid that might add like a weird bump. And I don't want that. So we're just gonna trim our polka dots. This is vintage fabric bits that I got from a quilt that's all in bits. <laughs> that's gonna stick up at the top, so I kind of wanted it cattywampus, but mm -hmm. I think I'll put a piece of this at the top. This is also vintage. I have no idea what this is gonna end up looking like. But <laughs> I'm trying to think like, you know, grandma's attic. I kind of wish it was a little smaller, but I don't have another one. So I guess we're going to go with it. Stop. Right in with my frame. Oh, my fingers are so sticky. <laughs> Feels bad. Gosh, you guys, this is taking me forever today. It's one of those days. That was a long, a long first, first one. Good thing I didn't make the pockets and everything. It's really taking me forever. Or just a little cattywampus. The biggest thing is I don't want it to hang over too far over there because this is already five inches and obviously you know you don't want your pocket to get too wide or you won't fit in um, your signature page. So that's the big problem. Oh I know what I was gonna do. Here I'm gonna pick this up because I need to add something else under it. I thought I'd just put the house inside the pocket because that's where grandma's attic is. And I have a dress form. I have more fabric though that I want to put in the corner.
Tuppy. Why are you being difficult? You should stop. They're just bits of fabric that I had in my little... I'm going to turn it this way, actually. My little bit box. Or coffee can. <laughs> coffee plastic jug. I don't know what <laughs> to call it now. They used to be cans. Definitely could find some fabric in Grandma's attic, I think. These are all die cuts. I think I got them on Amazon. I don't remember what the brand is or anything, but if you look up ephemera on Amazon, you can probably find, find them. I'll just do this. It's going to be a very full envelope. I know, what's the point of using an old envelope and then covering it all? I don't know. I usually don't, but this one I did because of the pieces I found to do this. Um, I don't think I'm going to worry about that. There's too many things. An old camera would be good. Oh, look at the old telephone. My grandma actually had one like that. It was white though, it was fancy. She was very fancy. I'm actually gonna turn this and let it lean. Find an instrument, a phone, a key, fabric, all the stuff, right? Oh, actually, I don't wanna cover up that fabric. This, I like that. So I think I'll put this up here. Can I lift this? Yeah, let's do that before it sticks all the way. I want the uh, stamp up there to show that's what's left of it. Come on now. Oh boy. This might not be my best. <laughs> too many things. I think I picked too many things. I could have just had one thing from Grandma's attic, but no. Had to have the whole freaking attic. I like how she's sewing those slippers or whatever they are. Little shoes. They were little shoes. I saw them on the other page. It's definitely a hodgepodge. A key, a key, a key. That's a big key. And that's not even the biggest one that was in that set. So see, you could definitely use this in any sort of journal. I mean, right? It's just, just super easy. So then, I'm not going to worry about it that much because you'll never see it, but I thought I could put the little house, you can still write on the back of it. I may add book page, but for now, I'm just going to kind of go with that, uh, just so you guys, you know, you get the idea. It's a pocket, in case you didn't know. 
So there's my grandma's attic. I had other things too, but too many things. Too many. Oh, the dogs. I was going to add other dogs on here. Let's just put one on the back for the sake of, because I'll probably never use it for anything else. Ah, sorry, pup. Jeez. Who knows? Maybe someday I'll do a dog journal. I do have a dog digital. I have a dog and a cat digital, but I made a cat journal and that's as far as I ever got with that project. But I wanted to have both digitals because, you know, people have both kind of pets. I've just never had a dog. I feel like I don't really relate, but they're cute. <laughs> There is dog was number three and number four was grandma's attic. And there it is in all its fabulousness. Dog, grandma's attic. Oh, I'll bring him up so you can see him a little bit. Oh, sorry about the shine on that, that little portion. And then we have grandma's attic. And I got the whole attic <laughs> on one envelope. All right, guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and we will chat again soon. Love you guys. Bye.